Good morning guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing the day in the life. I've not been doing much recording recently. Um, been really busy, but the time is 10 to seven and it's cold today, so I've got the heated jacket on, keep it nice and warm. Um, first stop, I need to go to mom and dad to pick a package up because there's a pack out clip in there to put some new pack out stuff in my van. Shock, more, yeah I know bad don't know what to do about it can't really stop it oh well um but yeah first stop go and pick up a package second stop go and sort the vans out from friday last week because we finished a commercial boiler change i'll drop a picture in of that now um so yeah the van's a mess so i've got to sort out before i do anything so yeah let's get cracking <laughs> It's still so dark in the morning, it's got to turn the light on, but um, first step, sorted, pack out clip secured. Um, obviously, it's a Monday, so I've got myself another cup of coffee, but um, yeah, you can't beat caffeine in the morning, it gets you going, do you know what I mean? It gets you going, but um, the time is now 20 to 8, and I'm en route to Sock Dean to go and meet Buster to uh, sort out all the bands, get it prepped for the week. Um, and stuff like that. And then I think we've got about five or six different little jobs to do. Um, nothing mental today, because I knew I wanted to spend a few hours this morning sorting out all the bands ready for the week. Um, because if you're in the game or you know anything about it, working in a messy van is just chaos. I hate it, it drives me insane. So what better way to start, start your like, week fresh, do you know what I mean, clean van, stuff like that. Um, and you know where you are with all your bits and bobs, you know what you need to get stuff like that so let's go and sit in more traffic and the ETA is about 20 minutes so I should be there about five ten past eight something like that but I can't believe how dark it is still in the morning it's nearly eight o'clock and I'm having to turn the light on so you can actually see me unless probably be better so you can't see me <laughs> but anyway I'll um I'll catch you when I'm sorting the van out <clears throat> so we're here now And this is what I'm dealing with. These are the new pack out boxes that I got, they're gonna go here. But obviously, you can see that it's not looking too tidy. Mm -hmm. This is what you get when you do a three day job and then the last day is on a Friday. It's just thrown in. So, got to drag all this out, put some of it in the shed, sort the scrap out, sort these clips to go here. So I got two more like four uh, drawers, and um, yeah. But uh, let's get going. Got a new addition as well. So I've got a new pack out box. Um, nothing special. I mean, I literally use it to fill waters up. Some would say it's excessive, but. Can never have too many waters in the van so yeah i think it's a good addition to be fair i bought it and i don't know why i bought it because it's on a special offer but um couldn't find anything to fill it up we've had a load of water in the van so yeah so i thought i'd just fill them up keep a stock of water and yes i drink fizzy water a lot of people don't but i do so um welcome to the van you are also while I'm getting stuff out, I recently bought this 6000 Lumen M18 towel light. And I'll tell you what, battery powered, 110, but I think you can change it to 240. I think you've just got to take this off and make it a 3 pin plug, as I've read online. But this is some serious bit of kit. Um, it's so bright, it literally will light up any room. Um, I'll try and set it up in a minute and see if it, you can tell makes any difference in the daylight because it's like 20 past 8 and it's pretty light already, but I'll tell you what, this will make a difference. I'll set it up quick and um, show you. So, what you do is grab it like this. And go like that. So, yeah. Just so you pull the legs up. Undo the top clip. Pull it up. Now, pull it up, close it. Undo the next clip. 
pull these up and I mean, we'd have had a battery charged. Is this one charged? Let's try the 8 amp. Click it in the bottom. And that's it. Let me show you. Two seconds. This is in broad daylight. So, let's turn it off. And this is, like I say, it's in daylight, so it doesn't do it too much justice, but... It literally makes all the difference. But I'll tell you what, it's an amazing bit of kit. If you can afford one, get one. It will change your life. And it's running on an 8 amp battery. That 12's dead. So, um, yeah, impressed with that. Impressed. I think it's about £450, I think I paid for it. On the special offer, Black Friday deals. So, yeah. Anyway, getting distracted. Let's carry on. I've been doing it for about 10 minutes now and it literally doesn't feel like I've done anything. It's honestly round packed from the floor up. So irritating. But I'm going to try and set it up on a time lapse, but I've got nowhere to put my phone. So you might have to just deal with these jumpy clips. But, um, but yeah, <laughs> fighting and losing battle here. Hear me out. What do you reckon? Back to back, one there. On there. So it gives you a little bit of room down here to get to this stuff. I think I'm going to screw him down here and see how we get on. Because going this way, can't get him in there, which is annoying. So I'm not too sure what to do. So I'm going to leave it like this for the time being. All right, I don't know how I feel about it. Restricts down there a lot, but nowhere else for it to go in the van. I like having this space open. So these are screwed down. So, I mean, Best way to find out whether I like it or not is to use it and see how you get on. But the things I like about these drawers is that you can store so much stuff in them and you can keep some stock in the van. They're such big drawers and you can only keep so much stuff in the little organisers. Um, this has got like uh, lever valves, condensed fittings and then like tapes like these. Like gas tapes, directional flows, heat and return, hot water and stuff like that. I want to keep more boiler spares and stuff on the van so I thought these would be better like keep the big stuff in here little ones for little bits and bobs like flow turbines and stuff like that it's, uh, like rubber seals and stuff like that um, yeah I don't know see what it looks like on the other side the only thing I did have to worry about is whether this was going to close but it does close the only other issue with it is that can't open the drawer fully but it's enough to get in there and see but there's nothing I can do about that because if you spin it the other way around then it looks weird so I mean yeah we'll get we'll, we'll see how we get on but um so we've got all that all them boxes sort through all the fittings and then try and sort all this but I'm hoping the weather holds out a little bit longer because it's starting to rain a little bit and I've got stuff everywhere so let's see how we get on anyway on to the next job sort through the stuff all right so all the stuff's in the van now now I'm just going through all the sort of bits and bobs I've had laying about I just need to go through it and put them all away keep the spares to the side but I'll tell you what this is the longest part of the job all the leftover bits and bobs I've got to go through it put them where they're supposed to go otherwise I end up with a whole crate like that just full of stuff it's so long right so got a little big wipes grab holder it's starting to look like a bit more usable now got a crate up there little making up like making good bucket um on the side move the box into the clip down the side 28 mil press fit fittings there uh jobbing bag making good and all of that i can't be asked to name all of it but if you watch my videos you, you can sort of see it. they're all labeled so it's very easy to tell what's what and then Little screws and fixings, big screws and fixings. Um, drawers in here, starting to look like a bit more of a van now. I mean, I can't really fit anything else in here, so I think I'm going to call it a day. This annoys me a little bit, so I don't know what to do with it. Might end up putting it up here and then putting the other one on top of that and then see how I get along with that. But 
don't know, I like having a bit of floor space to put some stuff down, so I've got my hand kit, um, bits and bobs like that, but I'm going to try and put that up there now and see what it looks like. Give me a sec. Too sure, actually. I think I prefer the way that looks. Take that out, gives me a bit more floor space here as I'm quite limited down the, down the side. Um, yeah, what do you reckon? Let me know what you think. I actually maxed out this van now. You physically can't get anything else in it without losing the practicality of the van. So um, let me know what you think and see if, give me some opinions what you'd do. Um, I want to spray my tube launcher black, silver. It's the only silver thing on here at the moment. So I might do that in a future video or something, I'm not too sure. But um, yeah, I think we're done really cleaning the van today. I've got a few more bits out there that I need to sort through. Obviously it's raining. If you want to try and do something in the van, it rains, obviously. But, um, yeah. Um, what's the time? 10 to 10. I mean, you spent like two and a bit hours doing the van, but it needed to be done. I'm losing losing the will to live. <laughs> but, yeah, I never thought I'd get to the point where I actually can't get any more pack-up stuff in the van without it being ridiculous. So, yeah, happy days. Anyway, I'll uh, catch you when I go to BSS to drop the higher press gun off as we used that last week. So I'm um, gonna go and do that now. So I'll catch you there. All right, van's all tidied now. Um, well, it doesn't look tidy, but it will be. Uh, done, sorted out all the scrap, got brass in here, bright copper, uh, bright copper there, and a few odds and sods in there. So I'm gonna do a scrap run, so I'll let you know how that goes. Um, and then go to Lewis, drop the higher press gun off. And then once we've done that, we can actually start our day. Um, nearly 11 o'clock now um so yeah but gonna be good do the scrap run drop the uh all the excess off at the storeroom and then we can actually start our day so uh nearly halfway through monday and haven't actually done any work yet but, um, i'm liking these pack out uh drawers so and i love this as well big old big wipes but um yeah happy days let's get going give these a go see what they're like oh good things about these so i thought i'd pick myself set up and i've got the perfect job for them now so i don't know if i can record in there if i can't i'll um i'll let you know after what they're like on guys welcome back to day two of day in the life um i didn't really get to record that much yesterday so i thought i'd just make it a bit well a bit more of a longer video and just roll it into two days um i ended up getting carried away yesterday doing the van spent about three or four hours sorting it out um and then just had a load of jobs that i needed to crack through get done so i didn't really record that much but did a scrap one yesterday um and we got uh i don't know if i've got the paper we got 400 i don't know if you can see that 404 uh for the scrap which i mean pretty much pays the majority of the day for two of us um which obviously then that allowed us to spend more time on the vans um then went to work obviously done a few more jobs so that was good done the scrap run sorted the vans out dropped some stuff back at bss and then uh, cracked on with uh, the jobs that we had so today first job of the day is there was a leak in the plasterboard wall uh, an emergency plumber came out cut a hole in the wall and didn't repair it so the boss has come back and repair it because we couldn't get there so i told him to get someone else um for the time being as it was an emergency so that's the first job second job is in a church um and we having to um replace an 
I think it's a gas fired heater and put an electric one instead. So that's the second job. And then I'm not sure after that, we'll have to wait and see. So anyway, let's get going. Enough waffling for today. Coffee on the go. Lovely job, lit. Let's go. All right, so first job is fit a 300 by 300 inspection hatch there and then open this up so it's a 300 by 300 as well. Um, so it's for future access because I think someone snapped this elbow late at night and um, they had to call an emergency plumber out because the side kept siphoning, kept dropping the water and it kept leaking continuously. So I need access to that, access to that. So fit them up, bit of stick slide, beep <laughs> on there, hold it on and then uh, should be good. Let's get going. So in order to get this one to fit, I had to trim down the edge because I don't want to have to damage the other tile um, because the previous plumber managed to get four tiles out using the grout joint, cutting across all the grout joints. So in order to get this to fit, I just had to trim 25 mil off the plate and then this should fit in there. Bang on. Other than that bit, what's that going on there? Hang on. I think it's a little bit of rubbish behind there, so I'll get rid of that bit and then that should fit nicely. Let's try that again. Hang on. Oh, it's so difficult doing it with one hand. Yeah, not too bad. Love that. So we'll see the sticks like beep up on that and then um, should be good. That one's done now. Just got to clean that little bit of mastic up there and uh, should be good. but. Hey, plasterboard, look at the amount of mess that it makes. It's horrible. All right, so all done now. Um, got two 300 by 300 inspection hatches, all tidied up. I mean, it doesn't look the prettiest, but it's for practicality more than prettiness. So they get a lot of use, these urinals. So have always needed to be cleaned, always need to be looked after. So probably done us a favor by being able to have one of those. So back all this up now. Uh, let's get on to the next job. All right then guys, so that one's taken care of now. Um, time is 20 past nine. There's a big in shelter hall as well, the place of doing it all. Um, there's a big commercial trap that catches all the food before it goes down the waste. Um, it's like a big floor standing thing. And it's basically to avoid the, all the food going into the waste disposal. So. But what they don't do is clean the food off before washing it in the sink. So you get like like lumps, like hard lump of like food that gathers at the top of it, which blocks it. Um, it's mainly rice and stuff like that that sort of binds together. Um, and yeah, so we, we we're always back down there cleaning the um, cleaning the trap. But now we're going to the drive in Hove and just a quick call out radiators on the middle floor and top floor are only lukewarm it's probably radiators we drained down that heating system not so long ago to fit some new TRVs as it's a communal heating system for the offices so that should be nice and simple and then after that we've got a landlord and a service um, and then after that we're going to a church to do some work in Salt Dean so yeah stay tuned Not an emergency, mate. Nah, you'll be alright. You'll be alright till Monday, won't you? Get <laughs> out. Bosh. Bosh. Just like that, eh? <laughs> Just like that. Lovely. Lovely. Let's fill up. Alright guys, I'm just sitting here editing this video and I realised I didn't do an outro, so I'm going to do it now. Thank you for watching Dan Life video. If you did like it, smash the like button, subscribe and stay tuned for more. Ciao.